Biden inflation taking a big bite out of one of the most beloved bargain dinner deals. Red Lobster is scaling back its all-you-can-eat shrimp promo after customers ate so much the restaurant suffered a $12.5 million loss. And that's despite them bumping the price five bucks. The company learning a lesson about the cost of doing business under Bidenomics. Rolling out endless lobster experience but only for 150 lucky people across the U.S. <laughs> All right, Jesse, how much does this endless shrimp fiasco go to show you that the Bidenomics <laughs> food deal just doesn't work? Well, I'm not totally sure Bidenomics has everything to do with people just being gluttonous. Mm. Gluttony is a sin, as you know, Judge, and yes. there's a lot of sinful Americans out there. There has to be a moral <laughs> stand we need to take when you go to a Red Lobster and you actually participate in the all-you-can-eat buffet. Mm. The all-you-can-eat buffet is just a hook to get people in. It's not an invitation to actually have people eat all they can eat. Well, they don't <laughs> stop you. You should stop yourself, Judge. <laughs> people need a little self-control. Mm. All right, Greg, Red Lobster, all you can eat. It went from 20 to 23 to 25 and still hasn't done the trick. Red Lobster went to in the Red Lobster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not a fan of buffets. Uh, for some reason, an abundance of food in a tray makes it feel less appealing, less tasty. It's why I avoid orgies. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> word. But, and then the food sits out for a while. What I, what I find so hilarious about buffets is it, that it's the healthy food that's the most dangerous like, it's like raw raw food like sushi and greens of the salad bar or sliced fruit are always the ones that get you sick. But it's the fun stuff like steak and, like, uh, uh, a shredded pork that's always the safest because it's hot, it's cooked. I've, I've never been to a Red Lobster because I didn't grow up around one, yeah. unfortunately. Greg, I think orgies avoid you. Well, let's get off that. All right, thing. Dana. <laughs> yeah, Red Lobster lost $12.5 million, and yet... They haven't stopped the endless Look, shrimp. I'm they not going to blame Americans it. for taking them up on the deal. I'm going to blame Joe Biden and Bidenomics <laughs> and get us back on track. What have we done? Okay, part of the thing is that food prices are higher for everybody across the board. That's not just homeowners or people trying to make ends meet at home. This is also for restaurants. Why is that? Yeah. Well, partly it's the inflation, also energy costs. Everything is up. Energy costs are up, which means the travel, getting your goods from point A to point B. So everything has cost more. Um, so people, when they think about, when, they, when you read that people are upset about inflation or the economy, it's about that kind of thing. If you're, the food issue is a really big deal. I also heard about a all-you-can-eat buffet thing where they only charge you extra for what you leave on your plate. Mm. Really? Now, that is a good way to go about this. Isn't that a great idea, Harold? If you don't eat it all, we'll sue you. No, we'll charge you more. <laughs> so I have four things. I'm going to be very quick. Uh, maybe the shrimp is good. Mm, maybe that's yeah. The hush puppies are good. Two, maybe the, maybe the shrimp is underpriced, and that's a problem there. Or as you said, maybe we just overeat as a nation. And three or four, maybe people are using more Ozempic. So they go <laughs> out and eat more. And then they do all the stuff to make themselves lose yeah, weight. Yeah, I'm not sure that's how that works. Well, I'm reminded it's of the not. great Colonel. Well, I know one thing. Joe Biden has nothing to do with this. I'll tell you mm. what I think it has to do with something. In fact, the food is higher than it's been in 30 years. Then why can't they keep food in the buffet? People are buying it like there's no tomorrow. Because they, even after they up the prices. Because if you pay one price and you go to Red Lobster, you can, you can feed the whole family rather yeah. than it's probably less expensive than if you went home and you try to do it because people are like, wow, I can't spend this much on food every week. By the way, then, are then, we then sure? They, then they should be charging more at exactly. Red Lobster. Exactly. Well, Lobster they did. Charge they more. went from 20 to 23 to 25. They still lost 12 million bucks. Then they still ran out. You know, yeah, which means that people Joe were able Biden. to pay it. This is Joe Biden. This story would make sense if you told me people were running out of Red Lobster not paying their bill, but they <laughs> stayed, ate all the shrimp, complained, and paid their bill. This isn't Joe Biden's fault. Oh, of course not. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.